Greetings! I love Mavericks, political and spiritual Mavericks, for the most part, first and foremost. Now, there are many types of Mavericks. You can be Mavericks in virtually anything, but today we'll concentrate on spiritual and political Mavericks. Now, what is a Maverick? A Maverick is simply someone who can't be categorized. The term came from when the Wranglers couldn't find a cow, a cow wouldn't have a brand on it. And that's what a maverick is, someone who can't fit into one of the categories, the groups, the organizations. Politically, people like Jesse Ventura, Pat Buchanan, Ron Paul, Ross Perot, Theodore Roosevelt even, fit in that category because they can't fit into the dominant political spectrum. Now, it might be ideological, for example, libertarians like Ron Paul or Jesse Ventura, they can't fit into the left-right political spectrum. It might just be simply because they don't like being in one of the two parties. And in America, we have a very rigid two-party system. Spiritual mavericks are interesting. They can be known as heretics, infidels, whatever you want. They can either be religious and spiritual, but not conforming to the norm, or they can be definitely against all religion. Think of somebody like Robert G. Ingersoll, he was against religion. Madeline Murray O'Hara was against religion. They were both atheists or agnostics. Then you can also have people who are definitely religious. Take Martin Luther. He was once a Catholic priest and he realized that was not the way and he became a maverick. Interestingly enough, he is one of the figures I admire most in the world, in world history. Even though I would probably never go to a Lutheran church, that would be one of the last churches I would go to. I admire how he was bold and he had a new vision and he stood for what was right. And he went away and took all the risks from the Catholic Church. I really admire that. In fact, the book I wrote, 95 Theses Against the School System, was patterned on what he did to some extent. It was a metaphor I used. I watched a movie on Martin Luther and it was very interesting and interesting enough like in many things in life, one thing leads to another. And the book mentioned another, I'm sorry, the movie mentioned another maverick, and that was John Huss. So I decided, I gotta learn more about John Huss. John Huss was a precursor to Martin Luther. He was the Reformation beginner in a sense, even though they often say Martin Luther was. He had some of the same ideas he put into place that Martin Luther developed, and Martin Luther definitely had his own stuff too. So I want to learn more about John Huss. I got a book about him. It's a little dry, but I'm really determined to learn a lot about John Huss. Hopefully I can find a movie about John Huss. He's not as well known as Martin Luther, obviously. So maybe there's not a movie, but it would be great if there was. Who knows? Maybe we'll make one someday if there's not one out there. And who knows? Maybe I'll find another book. I think being a maverick is the best thing. That's where I strive to be. And hopefully... I will be able to succeed when it's all said and done, and I will have a place as being a maverick. Mavericks are the people I have the most affinity with, and the people I admire the most.